Hey, I'm Dr. Jason Nicholas, otherwise known as the Preventive Vet, and today we're going to be talking about pet travel safety, uh, the importance of it and the ease of it. Um, and I do want you to understand the importance of it both for your pet's sake, your sake, and the sake of everybody else on the road. Okay? This is my hound and faithful sidekick, Wendy. Uh, we're going to show you how to put on the, um, the Bergen harness, which is the harness that I recommend for, uh, for dog travel safety. So, it'll come uh, like this, you know, snap together. It's got the two loops of fabric. What you do is just undo this Velcro piece, undo the snap, and you unfold it like this, and the logo goes at the top in the front. So, Wendy's pretty used to this, so pretty easily just step in one paw, second paw, and then pull it up around their chest. So it fits like this. You want the Velcro flap to be towards the at the top, towards their neck. Do the snap, and then very importantly, make sure both of the handles go through the hole in the cover there. And that's going to help to ensure that you're distributing the weight equally in the event of an accident or a short stop. And then from there, we we'll just put the carabiner. Make sure it goes again through both straps, and you're ready to strap them into the car. So there's two really easy ways to attach the carabiner uh, on the end of the Bergen tether. Uh, one, which is present in every car, is this little loop of fabric here at the base of the, of the um, seat belt. So you just click right through there, and you're all set to go. That's really nice and secure because that's now tethered to the restraint system for people. So from a safety rating, that's going to be really good. The other easy thing to do is if you've got a newer car with the latch system for child seats, is just expose the bottom latch connector there and attach the carabiner to that, and you're all set. One of the things I really like about the Bergen harness is that you don't have to worry about passing a loop of fabric through the seat belt, which can become unbuckled in the event that your dog steps on it. So this is a really nice secure um, restraint, and you can actually just leave it set up in your car like this, or attached here for e uh, even easier use. And then you're already attached, and then you just take this part, Again, carabiner, very importantly, make sure you pass it through both loops on the back of the thing, and she's all set and secure. Um, travel restraint for your pets, be they cats or dogs, is vitally important for a number of reasons. Obviously, there's the protection of you in the event of an accident. You don't want your um, un unrestrained pet to come hurtling through the car and be a projectile with a lot of force. Um, there's also the protection for everyone else in the car. There's the protection for your, for your dog and your cats. So they don't hit the windshield or the dashboard in the event of an accident. And then there's also the importance of, you know, emergency first responders. So if you get into an accident and your pet is unrestrained, they may actually bite a, a fireman or, a, or an ambulance driver thinking that they need to protect you. It also prevents them from jumping out of an open window at a stop sign or a stoplight, which can cause another accident or injuries to them. Um, additionally, it also helps protect them from toxicities and conditions like food bloat if you stop, um, you know, for a, uh, on, a, on a long road trip. Um, and they could get access to your purse or something like that or the bulk bag of food that you're traveling with. So for any number of reasons, pet travel restraint is vitally important. I've got a big blog post on my website that you can go check out to learn all the reasons um, and uh, leave some comments if you'd like.